Hi guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to Beer Virtually. So, I've done quite a few beers from Bells. So I was on their site and I was looking at their, um, some of their specialty beers and I was looking at their release calendar and uh, I came across this beer and I thought I had missed it because this is only released I believe in October. Um, but I was at Total Wine today and I saw this on the shelf. And I was like, cool. So I picked it up. And as soon as I picked it up, this guy next to me was like, you're going to love that. He goes, that is one of my favorite um, coffee stouts. So this is a, uh, this is Arabicadabra from Bell's. And this is a coffee milk stout. So let's get to pouring. Just a, uh, even though it's a, I believe a special release, it's just a uh, simple Bell's logo on the cap. I know they like to do a lot of special stuff with their cap. The appropriate glass for this would be a Nonic glass, which is like a pint glass that has a ridge. Um, I'm I'm going with the uh, the old standard Guinness uh, pint glass. This has a good amount of head, definite creaminess. This has uh, lactose added to it, like most milk stouts do. I think almost I think it might be what makes a milk stout a milk stout. This is pouring quite dark, uh, maybe a little darker than a cola. Let's take a smell. Oh man, tons of coffee. This smells like you're smelling a cold brew coffee. Oh, let's take it for a sip. Oh man. This might be more coffee than beer. Not quite as creamy as I expected. Um it is it definitely has some creaminess but but not as much as I expected. Uh, let's see what we have here for 5.5% ABV. So it not 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 too not too heavy in the ABV department. No IBUs listed. Um, yeah, this is only released in the month of October. And this is brewed with a, uh, a cold coffee extract from obviously Arabica beans. So Arabica is the most common probably coffee bean. All the good coffee use Arabica beans. I'm not even sure what other kind of beans they really use for coffee, but Arabica is, so it's kind of cool they used it in the name. And um, these beans are uh, fair trade sourced from Nicaragua and Sumatra, and they are roasted in Grand Rapids, Michigan by Ferris Roasters. It's kind of an interesting, it's kind of cool that they, they use local, you know, another local roaster. Bells is in Comstock, Michigan, so I'm not sure how far that is away from Grand Rapids, but pretty cool. Wow, is it, what, can we, what can we say about this beer? Tons of coffee flavor. It, um, it's similar to like Hotbox. I think I might like Hotbox a hair better, but it's similar. I just, I mean just fills your mouth with coffee flavor. And the smell, so much coffee. The smell is similar to um, like a cheap coffee brewing, like Folgers or Maxwell or one, or one of those, like chock full of nuts. Like it's, uh, it, it smells like that brewing. Like kind of in the break room at work when they make that crappy coffee, but it, but it's but you know there's going to be more behind it. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like a craft coffee, but it tastes like it. But it tastes like a craft coffee. So lots of times craft coffee, well, in beer, in beer it gets kind of 
muted back a notch. But in a craft coffee, a lot of times you'll have a lot of berry flavors and notes. Um, well, you'll have like a uh, like think of um, like dark grapes or um, raisins sometimes even or so usually darker fruits. You you may in a in a craft fresh roasted coffee that's not over roasted you'll have those flavors it's kind of like a steak you know if you overcook a steak you just cook the flavor right out of it so it's, it's similar to that when they roast coffee now this is a cold extract which i haven't messed around with cold brewing that much so i don't know um i know it keeps the acidity low because you're not heating it up you're just kind of steeping it like a tea but it takes a much longer time to steep than a tea. But this is this is really good. I did not look up the price here. I can look it up for you real quick. Let's see what we got here. This is twelve ninety nine a six pack. I think that's fair. I think that's a, that's a good price. I think it's a decent value for this. I did expect a little bit more lacing with it being with, with the lactose in it, but not, 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 not a ton of lacing. Like I mentioned early on, there's just not, there's not as much creaminess as I expected either, which I'm not mad about. Um, just as kind of what I expected being a, coming across as a milk stat, I expected a little bit more creaminess. The, uh, the bottle is quite cool, Arabicadabra. And it's got kind of a, I don't know what, what era that would be from, you know, the old show, like the old, like a magician show, uh, 50s maybe, 40s maybe. But it's it's pretty cool. Maybe a little creepy, but yeah, I, I like it. The, uh, the back of the bottle says, A little brewer's magic transforms locally roasted Arabica beans in a variety of specialty malts into a creamy, intense coffee stout. Enjoy before it disappears. I, I like what they did with this. I, this is based um, on another one of their beers. Is was the inspiration for this beer? I think called uh, Milkshake, but it's uh, it's spelled funny. I'll, I'll throw it up here. It, it's not quite what I expected, but it's good. Um, I'm gonna rate it a three point seven five. It's not as good as Hot Box, um, and that's kind of what I was putting it against. This is a milk stout, and Hotbox was a porter, I believe a coffee porter. But it, this does, for a milk stout, I just expected more creaminess. The head all but went away fairly quickly. Um, there's no head to speak of. Just great coffee flavors, though. They really captured a good, intense coffee flavor. That was good. Well, stay tuned for more reviews, and uh, we got a lot more stuff coming up. So until next time, cheers.